My fondest uh, New Year's memory, we always had the New Year's Eve party at my house, which was kind of cool. So all of our friends would come over, family would come over. When the clock would strike 12, you know, we're all together as a family, you know, hugging each other, all that good stuff. But the big treat for staying up that late was my dad's chili. And let me tell you, his chili is good. And we would wait until midnight, even if you weren't having fun, just to have some of that chili. So for me, that's what I think of every New Year, is staying up till midnight and waiting for my dad's chili. And we'll see what we do up here, if I can even stay up that late. And I think we have a vegetarian chili, and we'll see how that competes. As we transit the Earth in different orbits, we get to see snowy regions, we get to see tropical regions, we get to see middle uh, weather type regions. And, and it's very interesting to think how everyone is spending Christmas and New Year's in those, in those regions. In Japan, in the morning of New Year's Day, people go out and watch the first sunrise. That's pretty uh, popular in Japan. I have a memory uh, with my father uh, walking in the very, very cold early morning in Tokyo to watch uh, to watch first sunrise. It was a uh, fun memory for me. Quite honestly, I'm a morning person, so it's typically pretty challenging for me to stay awake for uh, the ball to drop. My uh, ideal New Year's Eve would actually probably be greeting the sunrise on the New Year's, on the New Year, the first sunrise of the New Year. And something that sticks out for me as a really pleasant New Year's Eve was a, uh, recently visiting some good friends in Colorado and all, hanging out just at someone's house, having a dinner party and uh, playing some games and with our kids and our friends. Just lots of really good quality time together with people that we really care about. Subscribe for more space. space, space.